Well, we say it just about every year, don't we? But tomorrow's Melbourne Cup really is the most wide open race in years, with favouritism likely to chop and change several times between now and when they eventually jump. At the moment, it is European Galloper Tiger Moth at $7.50, just ahead of the big Australian hope in Surprise Baby. Braden Ingram reports. It's the Melbourne Cup parade, but not as we know it. It's history and coming to Michelle Payne. Prince of Pins and Mission is going to win the Cup. Logan Josh has won the Cup. A handful of winners soaked in their past glories at Living Legends. As for defending champ Vow and Declare, well, he's still in the running. If he did win, it wouldn't surprise me and it probably wouldn't surprise a lot of people because he's obviously done it before. With 57 kilograms, it would be an unlikely double. Jamie Mott will climb aboard, back in the saddle after breaking both his legs in a race fall. When it happened 12 months ago to think the next year I'll be in the Melbourne Cup, um, unbelievable. It looms as Hugh Bowman's best chance to capture his first cup. Childhood dream, really. He put Anthony Van Dyke through a final test at Werribee today and has a warning for those doubting his red-hot runner. I don't think the trip's going to be a problem. I don't think the weight's going to be a problem. Craig Williams understands the significance of winning the showpiece and last year's winner has placed his faith in another Aussie hope, Surprise Baby. Most people were quite impressed by his performance last year, but now he's a more seasoned horse and um, I'm just so full of confidence. And if you believe in omens, then Jamie Carr and Prince of Aaron may be your best bet. They'll jump from the same barrier Michelle Payne did in 2015. I think it really hit me then. Um, I've been excited about the Melbourne Cup, but as soon as we drew barrier one, um, uh, it was just, yeah, I, I was very excited. History beckons tomorrow, and with no one to obscure his view, but will have the best view in the house. Braden Ingram, Nine News. And earlier today, our own Braden Ingram caught up with three-time Melbourne Cup winning jockey Kerry McAvoy, who really is ideally placed to land a fourth with Tiger Moth. Well, this time last year, we were in the centre of Melbourne streets. It was bucketing rain for the parade, and it's certainly been a very different build-up, although Melbourne's weather has turned it on. One man we can count on always for our pre-race preview is Karen McAvoy. Karen, how's the uh, build-up differed for you? Yeah, good, thanks, Braden. It's uh, nice to see the sun out and uh, looking forward to getting there, getting there tomorrow. Tiger Moth, it's a great chance, isn't it? Obviously, drawn that wide barrier, but similarities to your last win in the Cup of 2018, cross-counter, uh, low weight, wide barrier. How are you feeling? Yeah, we're going to need some luck from the gate, but uh, really excited about this horse. He's a, a young horse, and I think he's got a nice profile for the race. Uh, Northern Hemisphere three-year-old, we've seen rekindling, cross-counter come out and do well. So um, this horse has been um, earmarked by Aidan O'Brien to bring out here, and um, you have to respect that. Who do you have your eye on as the key challenges? I think the stable mate, Anthony Van Dyke, uh, great run in the Caulfield Cup. The other two horses are, that are easy to pick are very elegant. Um, she's a game mare and also uh, Prince of Aran. So uh, they are the, th the three that I'm worried about. In terms of your best bets, who do you like tomorrow? Uh, Tiger Moth in the Cup. I'm really looking forward to him and, and also Jukon. He's a horse that's coming down from Sydney. He races in the 2800 metre race and um, he's got a big weight on his back, but I think he can run very well. Well, Karen, you're going for number four in the Cup and certainly you've uh, done pretty well from wide barriers in the past, so hopefully tomorrow more luck to you. Thanks, thanks mate. Ta. I'll give you a tip. What do you think? Who do you think? Oh, who do I think? No, who do I think? Yeah. Uh, I, I reckon uh, we didn't rehearse this one. Um, <laughs> Prince of Aaron uh, from Anthony Van Dyke. I'm going very elegant. Yeah. Well, we've already backed a winner with the to with the weather, Tony. <laughs> Both is going beautifully. Mostly sunny and 30 degrees, but it's not all roses. There is a 14 degree day in the outlook, and I'll have all the weather for you rehearsed next. Yeah. So I'll.